one of the women we heard from was Lindy Schneider. And Lindy had been downsized out of a new job two months after she got there. I got a tap on my shoulder and it was my manager. And he said, stop what you're doing immediately and follow me to the office. So I knew the writing was on the wall. She says she looked at the men who were firing her, the bosses, and they were so weary and their faces so dejected that she looked at him and she said, thank you. My manager said, do you know, that is the one thing I didn't expect to hear today was thank you. When she got home that evening, she noticed there was a voicemail and the message was from a recruiter who said she had been recommended for a position. The person who recommended her was the boss to whom she had said thank you for firing me. Before Mickey Sherman was a high profile attorney, he was just a little boy growing up in Connecticut and his mother who had been widowed desperately needed a heart operation. And as far as Mrs. Sherman was concerned, there was only one doctor in the world qualified to do the procedure she needed, and that was Dr. Michael DeBakey, the world-renowned cardiologist. This woman reached out to Dr. DeBakey and wrote a letter explaining her situation. You are, I am certain, besieged with the same request from many people all over the world. Incredibly, she got a letter back, a letter from Dr. DeBakey himself who said, we of course will do this procedure and I wouldn't dream of charging you. Thanks to that procedure, Mrs. Sherman lived more than 30 years. Jody Fuller was a kid who'd gotten into some trouble with the law. The judge threw the book at him and said, if you don't straighten out and change your ways, the next time you're gonna be in some really serious trouble. He ended up becoming an army medic where he treated some of the survivors of the Mogadishu disaster, Black Hawk Down. We got a Black Hawk Down, we got a Black Hawk Down. As he was moving up the ranks in the army, he was also dealing with a pretty profound stutter. And so when he finally retired from the service, what did he do? He said, naturally, I became a stand-up comic. I have trouble with my Z's and A's, B's, C's, D. <laughs> he is grateful for the judge he is grateful for the stutter, which has encouraged him to try harder and do more. And he's grateful for the opportunity he's had to wear the uniform of this country.